Hey guys, welcome back to 365 Days of SEO. This is Christian Bullock. Today we're talking about a basic SEO topic, and that is, what is a nofollow link or a nofollow tag or attribute? So a nofollow link is something that site owners can do to tell search engines to not follow a link posted on their web page. So Usually, when a spider goes through a page's source code, they hit these external links or even internal links, and they follow them. They go there, and they see, okay, this web page is vouching for this resource or this other page because they're linking to it. So you, as a web site owner, would add a nofollow attribute to any links that you feel that you're not really vouching for. Right, in terms of um, maybe something that's off topic to whatever your content is, or maybe it's even something that you're writing about in a negative fashion. Maybe it's something that you should, you're kind of thinking, I don't want to, I don't want search engines to think that I'm actually linking to this other resource because I'm writing a positive thing about them. So really, when you're talking about adding and using a no follow link attribute. You're telling search engine spiders to not transfer any link juice or what's known as page rank to whatever link that no follow tag has on it. So really, if you want to use this for a couple of instances, right? First, if the link is something that is completely unrelated to your website or the topic that you're writing about, but yet you're linking to it, may make sense for you to add a nofollow link attribute to it. Search engines are keen to where you're linking to, where you're getting links from. They see that you're linking to a myriad of other websites that have nothing to do with what you're talking about. Seems a little fishy. The second thing you want to do is, let's just say you're doing some sponsorships or you have some paid link opportunities on your website. Best practice here is to really throw a nofollow link attribute on any of those links. Paid links are bad in the eyes of search engines. And we kind of went over that um, on an earlier video in terms of link building where getting some paid links can help, but if you are a website owner and you are doing paid links or getting paid sponsorship opportunities for other websites, best practice there is to, is to have a nofollow link attribute attached to those links. And then there's another thing that's kind of called, it's called it's a little bit of an advanced topic, but page rank sculpting. Um, and you can do that on your own website. And it's really um, using no follow link attributes in a way that helps page rank flow to the most important pages of your website. And that's made by um, it's something that you saw a lot of a couple of years ago, um, but now not so much. And it can be an effective way if you really have a solid strategy in place and you do it 100%. You can't just kind of do this a little bit. You have to be fully on board. But again, page rank, page rank sculpting is by adding no follow link attributes to any links on your website to resources, to content, to whatever else that you don't really want to show up in search engine rankings. That way, you're only transferring page rank internally to pages that you'd want to show up, which effectively, it's kind of like a fire hose. And instead of it going 10 different directions, you're shutting it off and making that stream stronger in three different directions for those three pages that you want to show up in search engine results. So it's really something that you can do on your own website, very advanced, something that you really have to think about, something you definitely want to test. So if you were to do it and make all those changes at one time, add an annotation, Google Analytics, you know, and see how um, your site reacts in search engines moving forward after that. Again, that's a nofollow link attribute. That's how you use it for your own SEO purposes for your website. I'm Christian Bullock, 365 daysofseocom and we'll see you guys tomorrow.